What's up everyone, Rob here from Mishimoto. Today we're going to install our coolant filtration kit on your 2016 Plus Nissan Titan XD. This install is really quick, so let's get started. Tools recommended for installation include five millimeter Allen key, seven and 10 millimeter sockets, quarter inch drive extension and ratchet, 20 millimeter box end wrench, a pair of pliers, and Teflon tape. Installation time is less than 45 minutes. Installation difficulty is a two out of five. Locate the ball valves in your kit and wrap the threads with Teflon tape. Apply the tape in a clockwise direction, the same direction that it will be threaded into the housing. Make sure that the tape does not cover the opening of the fitting. Install the ball valves to the filter housing and tighten them completely. These fittings have a tapered thread so they may not be flush with the housing when fully installed. Lubricate the filter gasket with fresh coolant and install it to the filter housing. Locate the hardware provided with your kit and install the mounting bracket to the filter housing. Orient the housing on the bracket as shown here. Install the bolts, but do not fully tighten them yet as you may need to adjust the position later. Loosen the two nuts on the battery tie-down bracket and then remove the bracket. The tie-down bolts hook into the bottom of the battery tray. Transfer the battery tie-down bolts and nuts to the Mishimoto battery bracket. Lower the coolant filter assembly into place over the battery. Hook the battery tie-down bolts into their original locations and hand tighten the nuts to secure the assembly. Place a cut-up bottle or other container under the EGR cooler outlet. Compress the clamps that secure the EGR cooler hose and remove the hose. Locate the hose in your kit with a 90 degree bend. Install one of the small hose clamps over this end and slip the hose over the nipple on the expansion tank. Install one of the large hose clamps over the other end of this hose and install it to the port marked out on the filter housing. Locate the hose in your kit with the shallow bend. Install one of the small hose clamps over this end and slip the hose over the nipple on the EGR cooler. Install one of the large hose clamps over the other end of this hose and install it to the port marked in on the filter housing. Tighten the nuts that secure the battery tie-down bracket. Adjust the filter housing so that the hoses flow freely and tighten down the bolts that secure it. Now go back and tighten the worm gear clamps to secure the hoses. Turn both of the valves to the open position. These valves should remain in this position at all times except when servicing the filter. To replace the filter, move the valves to the closed position and unscrew the filter from the housing. Then install a new filter and turn the valves to the open position. Now that you have the coolant filter installed, go back and double check all your connections for leaks. Remember that the ball valve should always be in the open position unless you're going to change the filter. Be sure to hit that subscribe button before you head out. Thank you.